It's a little awkward, but. Well, we'll, maybe we'll, ch we'll change things quickly. We'll change the angle of the camera a little bit so maybe you can see it a little bit better. Um, and we'll start over here. Now, if you look over, if you look over here, uh, you would see that the, uh, the footwell is wider. And, and it's a shorter shoe and the footwell is wider. But as and you can look at the you can look at the front view you can look at the front view here the footwell is wider and you can see the uh, the side view cutaway view here now this is the regular well and you can see the, uh, the the other view here where it's deeper but if you make the shoes the, the wells wider and wider and wider or bigger and bigger and bigger or larger and larger and larger sooner or later they'll go away and you can see here, they are they're going they're going away. You can you can see they're uh, uh, okay. Good hold, <laughs> maybe that's a little bit better. You can see they, that they are somewhat somewhat going away. We're going to change the angle. We're going to change the angle of the camera again. Okay, you can well we could we can see what's we could we can see what's going on without getting into a, a wrestling match with them with the camera here. Uh, you see what's going on here. The uh foot wheels are wide and we can and you can see that. You know. And the shoes are longer, so we have the same amount of buoyancy, but uh it's deeper. So the long the longer it gets, the deeper it gets. And we see here this is our most modern water shoe. No, no foot wells at all, because it's based on a, a a barge. You know the riverboat design, when it's wide, the wider. You know it's based on a raft. The whole idea of it's wider, it's flatter, and it's it's more stable. So you can take the uh, foot well out altogether, and that's what that's what we did. And this was. Okay, 74, well, 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 70, maybe we started in 71, 72, something like that. But you, basically in about six months, we had our, the shoes ready to go. And, and early on, we were using, you can see these oars. They use something we call brace oars. We don't use them anymore because we, you know, uh, they just don't have the power. But they look good. There's one down here, and you can see the brace on it, and you can see the brace on it. Uh, the brace goes over your hand, and 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 and, and so uh, it acts as a fulcrum, and you can, you know, you can move a little bit, but. Because we work in open ocean, I mean, because we work in open ocean, it, it's it's always a problem of uh, wind and rain and all this stuff. Yeah, of course, in a swimming pool in some quiet uh, something, you could do all kinds of things. But you get out in the ocean with wind and rain and, and, and current and, and, and uh, all kinds of other things out there, uh, you, you need something that, that, that uh, you can't go for the cute stuff. You have to go for hard stuff that works and works pretty good so we're gonna we're gonna keep looking at my uh this is robinson's uh, you know my my contribution to the water shoes and we started back in probably i think it was 1971 or something like that or maybe 72 but we had the thing pretty well together in about six months or so um and uh we were able to go out on, go out on the lake and feel quite quite comfortable 